Woods. In Chicago, there is no one to maintain the baseball stadium. Its ultimate opponent is already embedded in the outer wall. One year after people. Plants are on the rise in the city of Chicago. At the stadium, the ivy is beginning to extend its green tendrils. The vines have flourished here since 1937 when they were planted to decorate and cover the outer wall. With no groundkeepers around to give them their monthly pruning, the ivy threatens to overrun the whole stadium. But there is one thing holding it back. Each vine can only grow to a maximum length of 50 feet in the Chicago climate. However, as the vines shed their leaves each winter, the organic material sticks into cracks in the brick and concrete. It decomposes into soil, which in turn provides a higher platform for new vines to sprout. Five years after people, the ivy has crawled up and blanketed the stands. It has taken root in the aging mortar, inserting moisture into cracks and breaking up walls. But the true victor in nature's race to reclaim the stadium isn't the ivy. On the pitch, buckthorn, a thick, dense shrub, is taking over. Brought from Europe in the mid-1800s, it's one of the Midwest's most threatening plant species. One of the ways that buckthorn is spread is that when birds eat the fruit of buckthorn, the fruit itself is sort of harsh on the intestines of the animals. It'll essentially have bird diarrhea. And so the birds, after consuming a crop of buckthorn fruit, will fly away and very quickly disseminate the plant. In the time of humans, the groundskeepers had to mow the pitch regularly and treat the grass with chemicals to prevent any of the seeds from taking root. But with no maintenance staff around, drop seeds from birds quickly fertilize on the pitch and begin sprouting a wild, woolly hedgerow that grows to 10 feet tall. You won't be able to walk through it, never mind throw a ball in there. In Chicago, after decades of wild growth, the stadium is almost unrecognizable. In the time of humans, the giant 85-foot-high wooden scoreboard was one of only two in a major stadium to be manually operated. But it's defenseless without humans to maintain it. Ivy repels up and over the scoreboard as it crumbles under a siege of termites. Down below, tangled thick nets of spongy buckthorn have grown to 20 feet high, blanketing the playing field. <laughs> 